Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. What's up, y'all? I'm going to use my Android phone because I needed the windows open to show y'all what's going on. What's up? So who may be concerned, this is Ron Nell, a.k.a. the Harlem City Slicker, you know, and Autica Records, you know. Um, you know, I just wanted to do a quick little video talking about, you know, something that really, you know, kind of crossed my mind. Like me, I'm a musician, I'm an artist. I love the creativity to do music, no matter what, pop, rock, hip-hop, R&B, gospel, you know, it's a creativity. I also wanted to talk about um, another part of creativity that I felt is a part of my life was, you know, video games. Even though nowadays I really don't have too much time to play video games, but there was one video game that really stood out to me that I really felt was something I wanted to address and talk about, at least give my perce perception on it. It was a game called Devil May Cry. Now, if you're familiar with it, it was a game by Cap Donald. It was an action adventure. It was about like a vampire hunter. He was from a um, offspring from a legendary demon who actually actually portrayed his own race to um, you know to save Earth and mankind. And he had two twins, Dante and Virgil. And um, it was called Devil May Cry, which star this guy named Dante. I'm gonna show y'all. I got my old little PlayStation joint, you know, he got the greeny look, you know, kind of remind me of a Resident Evil Final Fantasy character all rolled in one, you know, um, that was a big success, sold millions of copies, then, you know, we got part three, which shows when he was young, I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, in part three, we noticed that Dante was a, a badass, kick-ass type dude, I mean, this guy's talking shit, shooting guns, slashing demons, all at the same time winking at the chick that's watching them in glee. Devil May Cry 3, you know, and I have a special edition where you play with his twin brother, Virgil, who is just as deadly, but he's less quiet, you know. So, back to that, um, I just checked out this, this trailer. It was about um, the new Devil May Cry. They had Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3. Um, I have part 4. But I really don't play it because of the strength of, you know, um, the strength. They changed the character, and I'm going to go into that real quick, character development and whatnot with a guy named Nero who looks like a cross between Dante and Virgil, but he just look a little feminine to me. And I just want to talk about that. But anyway, let me just show you the new Devil May Cry 5. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, maybe you can see maybe what I'm seeing and, you know, yeah, I give y'all opinion. So y'all gotta mind me because I'm using my phone. Cool. All right. Heaven and hell. The good and the bad, but the greatest part of mankind. Capcom. The guys who made Street Fighter, Mega Man. Get over here! You see this? My name is Dante. What? Alright, that's basically what it is with that. You know what I'm saying? Find out that Capcom ain't really fucking with it. Oh, hold on. You gotta see this joint right here. This is another thing that I 
I pointed out. Look at look what he's doing. He's smoking his cigarette. And look at the look at the way he's holding it. Wow. Okay. All right. Get that shit out of here, B. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the guy. These are the developers. This guy represent Capcom right here. Right here, smiling, looking like Joe. And this guy right here. Looks very familiar, right? He looks like the guy. He looks like this so-called Dante. He's the creator behind Ninja Theory. Found out Capcom gave one of their greatest franchise. I mean, Dante is so cool. I mean, let me tell you something about Dante. Dante is so cool. Real talk. My, I have a two-year-old son. His name is Dante. Because I felt Dante was such a cool guy, slickster, trickster. He represents everything. I'm from Harlem, right? And, you know, I mean, I get stereotyped that, you know, Harlem cats are brash and cocky and all this other stuff. But when I look at Dante, I'm like, yo, he represents us. Shooting, flipping off the wall, doing all types of hot stuff. But anyway, you know, that's basically what it is. And I felt like over the years, like, um, video games is a big corporation and it's doing better than most movies and music. So, like, video games represent creative imagination, button hand coordination, artistic, you know, comic book, manga, Japan, all, all that roll into one. And Devil May Cry was a franchise that was already doing good. So, why would you dramatically change it? You know what I'm saying? And as I look at this new character, he's smoking cigarettes like this. Like, mad feminine looking like, like, what's up with that? Like, how you gonna be kicking ass like this? Like, a, I mean, that shit is crazy. Also, his look is crazy. Like, this is Dante right here. Here you go, right here. Like, that was really good. And we got Dante right there. He's smiling happy as can be because he got his face in a video game, and I feel like it's a real slap in the face by Capcom for allowing this to happen. And I know it's just a look, but this is a first impression. Sometimes, you know, your look, when it comes to a job, your look, you have to be presentable. Even artists, you have to be marketable, females, even people that you date, people are prejudging you just by the way you look. So looking at this compared to what the original Dante is, that's a, a big backlash. And fans love Dante. I mean, I'm going to just say one thing. Dante was so cool that I was dating a girl, and I used to play video games a lot at the time, and, you know, she was so into me playing the Dante because Dante was such a person. He had so much personality, kick-ass phrases, quotes, that she didn't mind me looking and playing. It was like a, a, a movie to her. Shout out to you, man. Yo, definitely. But, um, you know, it's crazy. I was like, yo, that ain't no motherfucking Dante, babe. Word up. Word the hell? But um, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. And I noticed that the video game industry is definitely changing. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I want to talk about Capcom. The way they playing, you know, the fans, knowing that they was going to do a remake of a half-assed game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 seems like more of a, a better value than Marvel vs. Capcom 3 to me because why? I paid $65 for that with the tax, government tax stuff, because they know it was going to be a bestseller, and they gave us a half ass game where a couple of months later they're going to bring up a whole new game with downloading content. They're raping us, you know, and not giving us quality. Like even Sega Super Nintendo, it was quality in the game, even though the graphics wasn't all that, but it was quality when you played the game, you lived it, you went through it. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. And I'm looking at this new Dante Devil May Cry is definitely for the emos and, and um like those type of people that image, they trying to say this is what is cool. That's not cool for everybody. And what was cool is when people were buying and loving the character. Now you you just slap those those customers in the face for a new generation and that joint is crazy. And how can a new generation appreciate the whole value of that franchise when they don't know anything about it. They just coming into a new one. So I was, I'm not calling this Devil May Cry joint. And I feel like, honestly, I'm not going to really buy it. I'm not going to buy it. You know, I'll probably just look at it on YouTube 
and see what people are saying about it. But I'm not going to buy unless they make changes. They say his hair is going to be white. Now, matter of fact, you know what? Let me stop, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm being too biased. But, all right, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm looking at the um, trailer, and it shows him hanging in a psychiatric ward or whatever. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe Capcom have something up their sleeve. But they said it's supposed to be before Devil May Cry 3, which makes no sense. Like, what was the purpose of having that story in Devil May Cry 3? That's some old peanut butter and jelly bullshit. But um, I'm going to give it a bit of a doubt. This probably, this can't be Dante. This is probably some dude who's trying to imitate Dante, and they captured him, and they reprogram his whole mind to make him think that he's Dante, and Dante is going to pop up and push this nigga to the side like my fitted hat. You feel me? But um, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that video game industry is a big industry, and it's something that fans like me have been following for years, and Dante is just one of those characters you you shouldn't be messing around with because his image is, is basically a part of his friend, that franchise. That's like somebody taking Kratos and just changing his whole shit, giving him a wig or a long hair. You know what I'm saying? They would have never did that shit to Kratos, B. I swear to God, Kratos would have killed the developers while they was trying to make him. Like, no, you not are going to change me into a bitch-ass nigga. Then you hear that Olympic music in the background, and, and the writers just suddenly disappearing and nothing. But it's just crazy how they doing that, and it makes no sense why everything that we felt a hero was, masculine, stand-up type of guy, you know, like, even this new Dante, this new, he look like, he looks weak and feeble, like, he's waiting for a hit. And I'm not talking about as an artist, he's waiting for a crap pipe, like, he look like he's sucking dick, or he's sucking on a glass man dick, which is fucking crap. In Harlem, we call a glass man dick is, is crap, you know what I'm saying, sucking on that crap pipe. And it doesn't make any sense, and when you're playing... Dante, you want to feel like the character. One thing about Dante, I must admit that when you play with him, it makes you feel cool. It makes you, make you feel a sense of, of coolness and, and greatness while you kicking niggas' ass, shooting bullets behind the back like he's playing basketball with the bullets. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like the way he holds the gun, as you saw in a, uh, in a, um, in a, in a trailer, he's holding it like a little bitch-ass nigga. Like, it's crazy. Like, Yo, Ninja Theory, y'all guys, is, if y'all if y'all if y'all theory is correct on that, y'all better be like ninjas and disappear. Or don't I, I personally like the fans, they're gonna go as far as boycotting and not buying it, and they're gonna lose mad money. And if you give it a chance, that's like you giving them money anyway to fuck up a character that you truly appreciate. Or who's to say, maybe, maybe. They got some hidden storyline, some trick up their sleeve that they're going to throw in because it's still early. But like I said, first impressions is very important when it comes to these video games because all these video games are bringing it, you know. And this is the guy. Let me, let me, let me show you. This is the guy right here who, who did this. These motherfuckers right here. You feel me? And I'm pissed. I'm pissed, man. I'm pissed. I'm smiling with a mad as fuck. But anyway, this is Ronnell, Harley City. I had to use my um camera phone to do this. I know it's a little long, but you know what? For those who wanted to watch, they're going to watch. And I just wanted to express, like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. And always good. There's always good. It's always good to change in life. But you want to evolve, become better than before. And this is looking like a, a terrible makeover going wrong. And it's a slap in the face of fans. And this is not what's cool. The look, the image, the darkness. It, nigga look like he got mascara on, man. For real. That's not a man. You feel me? That's, that's crazy. Like, his look is terrible. And the graphics is not all that. Remind me of Heavenly Sword. You know? And like I said, it's still early, but... Mm -mm. They need to get Dante... Or just change this whole joint. Don't don't use the Devil May Cry franchise and, and try to fool us. You feel me? Because that's definitely crazy. Tell me what y'all think. One love, music, video games, manga, 
it all comes into play. It's all love. But like I said, Ninja Theory, please listen to the fans and, and do what you can. Like, the, you know, to make that joint look better because his image alone is crazy. And then the storyline doesn't make any sense. I heard he was an angel. That's crazy. But um, that's the case this dude. They better off doing a Sparta story. You feel me? Before he bust the nut in front of that angel or human being chick that he felt was worth, you know, pregnating. And shout out to my son, Dante, the real son of Sparta, of yours truly. Shout out to the fans, the bloggers, video gamers, the lovers, the haters, you know. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video, blog, rant. Whatever you want to talk about. And there's also one thing I want to point out in another video. It's just how they're making a change for the worse. If you, if you look at society, they're making a change for the worse. They got a lot of the guys trying to look feminine and, and all this other stuff. I noticed about Metal Gear Solid. You know, we had Solid Snake and they replaced him with Raiden. Fucking Raiden. He looks mad and metrosexual and, and like... He can't hold a candle, nor a super soaker, to anybody. So anyway, this is Ron now, a.k.a. the Home City Slicker, signing off, saying peace. Like I said, the world isn't what it always seems. Stand out, be a leader, be original. Show love, because love overpowers hate. And there's always a thin line between good and evil, as long as you're noble. All right? Peace, hold it down, and thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, highlight me, and... Get Dante back, man, because I'm not feeling that at all. You hear me? Aye. He looks crazy like this. Aye. All right, peace.